fascinating time because while all over the world people are feeling really great, we're staring at General Motors having a lower market cap than Palm Computing Corporation. So that means that we all, as marketers, people who sell for a living, have to take a deep breath and think about what we're doing in a, in a way that actually fits um, not just what our clients or our products want, but also for the future. I loved Richard. Good to get a, you know, kind of a, a reminder of some of the things. I, I actually like the comment about, you know, pick up the telephone, uh, use less email, because I think people really have a tendency not to be personal enough in their communications. I thought he was a very good speaker. I, I thought he had a lot of good insights and I couldn't agree with him more about getting back to basics and getting off of all the technology and really actually having conversations with, with clients and people and picking up the phone. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm going to talk to you about today is um, kind of the journey of Best Buy uh, from the view of uh, the marketing department and also just the company in general. So I'm going to take you on a little journey. So Best Buy has been around for 42 years. I've actually only been there for the last year and a half. But uh, as in my role as a brand strategy uh, lead for the team, it's really important for me to understand the history of the brand, where it's been, so I can really kind of map out where we want to go strategically. So I want to share a little bit of that history with you today and also give you a little peek into where we're going in the future. I like the presentation. I think for those of us who are not so involved with uh, Best Buy and uh, so forth, I think it was a good representation of the evolution that Best Buy has gone through. I really love Barbara. Um, actually, I think that she has uh, brings a lot of experience considering her background working for Johnson & Johnson. I also admire her passion that she has for working for Best Buy and I think she's great. The change in Best Buy from just being a delivery channel into being really customer centric, it was very interesting. So we know that scissors, scissor companies have a sharp focus because scissors companies have carved a niche out within the marketplace. They're quick, they're agile, they're nimble, they can turn corners fast. Maybe a business like Dogfish Head Brewing. Dogfish Head Brewing is in the craft beer industry. They're a business that is growing 30% year over year. They've been doing this now for about eight, nine years. I participated and listened to John's talk. I thought he had a lot of really valid points, particularly in a down economy like now, going back to basics and really thinking simplistic and, and saying no when it's um, so easy to say yes, but the more simplistic you can get, the more successful you'll be. My name is Denise Tuddy, and I work in our Chicago office with about 400 people based in Chicago that cover the central region and I'm sure many of you have met many Googlers as there are about 20 of us who travel up to Minnesota and, and call on the agencies and the clients in this region. So thank you for always welcoming us to the community and keeping us an extended part of your family. Well, I feel like I'm, I'm still soaking it all in. I mean, and I got to go back to the office and you know apply it. But it, um, I really liked the breadth of the offerings, um, and um, the keynote speaker John was great. Definitely. I mean, because that's rough being after lunch. Yeah, he was just very engaging, and it was also very relevant. I mean, it wasn't just entertaining. And then I won the Starbucks gift card, so that helped. <laughs> yeah, I think as a conference, it was really good. I was just at a. Um, Forrester Conference in Dallas, which is like a two-day extravaganza event, and I actually think I got more out of this one for just being here one day than I did with that for two days. So, Speaking of next year, we want you to put in your Blackberries right now, save the date, November 10th, 2009, same place, same party. All right? Yeah, I definitely think I will. But I think it was certainly beneficial, and I can see myself come back again.